back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight we're going to take a look at something, the last beer actually, from my Samuel Adams Tasters Pack that I haven't drank yet, uh, the Winter Tasters Pack. We're going to take a look at Samuel Adams Chocolate Bock. So, this is Samuel Adams Chocolate Bock combines our carefully roasted malts with the robust flavor of premium dark nibs from Ecuador. We slowly age the brew on a bed of cocoa to impart bold flavors of rich chocolate and smooth, velvety finish. Cheers, Jim Cott. So, yeah, 5.8% ABV. I picked this up in uh, Calais, Maine, on a trip to the States for, uh, for Christmas shopping. Being that it's now March at the time of this recording, <laughs> I'd better get this out of my fridge. It's an ale. Ale? Chocolate box? Really? Okay, ale with cocoa and natural flavor. A, a bock is typically a lager uh, brewed to an extra strong strength. Now, it's not unheard of for an ale to be brewed to bock strength. It just means that it's, it's brewed to a much stronger specification. More malts, more alcohol. <coughs> Jintai, you all right over there? All right, anyway, that said, uh, it's not unheard of. Uh, like, for example, Rogue Dead Guy. Uh, is a Maybach from, uh, I forget where, Oregon. Uh, but it's it's a Bach, but it's brewed using an ale yeast. So it's technically an ale brewed to Bach strength. And also there's other things like uh, Schneider and Ventina Sizen Weissbach, which is a Bach itself, but it's actually a wheat ale, or a wheat of uh, Hefeweizen, or Hefebach, or whatever. Doppelbach, Dunkelbach, dunk, whatever. Anyway. Let's uh, pop the top off of this extra special Samuel Adams and uh, take a look at it. Pour that into my Sam Adams glass. We had two bottles of this. Neely drank the other one. And she loved it. So, let me see how what I think about this particular one. So right off the top, it's extremely dark, almost black. Uh, a little half a finger ahead, three quarters of a finger. It's, it's dark, but it's not completely black. Like, I hold it up to a light, it looks like it's got this deep ruby red uh, color to it. Uh, it looks like a porter of some sort. Seriously, it's got this nice tan brown head, uh, as well as a very dark body to it. That looks a lot like a porter. Hmm, you have a sniff. Yeah, beans. Cocoa beans. It smells like... <laughs> there's like a little bit of sweet malt, and there's also like a... The big thing you get off the top of this one is this nice smell of like a mild milk chocolate. But really, I'm getting a lot more ambient smells than this. I'm... It's not that my house smells or anything, but... Still smell a little bit of the cat's business along from uh, a couple hours ago. Oh my god, you're crazy. <laughs> I know. The head's completely died off at this point. Yeah, so basically all I'm getting off the top of this one is this very, very faint uh, smell of chocolate. Milk chocolate. Anyway, let's give it a taste. Oh my god. Ooh. Well, it doesn't lie. It's definitely chocolate bock. It's got this nice powdery chocolate flavor. Almost like a, a, a somewhere in between like a, a semi-sweet baker's chocolate and a, and, a mocha, and a milk chocolate. And there's a subtle, I don't know whether they use corn in this, as an adjunct or anything. This is a vanilla ingredients list. No. I don't know whether they used corn as an adjunct in this particular beer, but it has a like almost like a corny, weedy twang to the back. It tastes like cocoa puffs. Or uh, Count Chocula or something. So you get this, it's basically, 
There's almost no flavor to the tip of the tongue. But towards the back, you get this little bit of a a very powdery, just like tasting chocolate that's somewhere between semi-sweet and milk chocolate. And also this nice little bit of a sweet malt, like a subtly sweet taste to it, like a, a very light bock. Um, it's also got this subtle amount of like a toasted grain and a corn taste coming out in the very back, which gives it very much a combination of what seems to be like a, some kind of chocolate cereal. And that certainly invokes a, a lot of childhood memories. <laughs> it's almost like cereal on Saturday morning or something, like when, you're, when you get to have your junk food. Mm. Wow, that's a tasty beer. Now, as far as being a Bach, it's not very strong. And it's not very... It doesn't hit very hard. Like a typical Bach that I've had, it's got a nice malty sweet very malt heavy kind of taste to it for being even usually a lager uh, even in the ales they had some very present malt taste to it whereas this one kind of slacks off it's almost to the point where it's it's watery but it makes up for that in my opinion by being this nice chocolatey flavored beer otherwise it's a fairly mild beer It doesn't finish perfectly dry, but it, it's not like the wetness in the, in the back sticks around for a long time. It's, uh, it's got a nice palate to it. It doesn't seem to, uh, to sit too heavy either. I could probably drink a few of these. Of course, I only ever release these in the, the, the seasonal packs, really. Anyway, I'm going to sit down with this one for a bit and uh, come back with some thoughts. Be right back. back with Samuel Adams Chocolate Bock. So, what did I think about this particular beer? Um, it's nice. I love the taste of it. It's, it invokes childhood memories in the fact that it tastes just like some kind of like chocolate cereal, like your like Cocoa Puffs or uh, or Cocoa Pebbles or whatever you call it. What is it? Yeah, I think Cocoa Puffs. I'll just stick with that one. Anyway, it tastes like some kind of children's cereal, and it really rakes back memories of if you ate that kind of cereal when you were a kid, like I did. Um, I mean, that's why I got the pot. No. <laughs> uh, that said, beer. though, what? Pot, your pot is from beer. My beer gut, yes, it is from beer. I wear it like a badge of honor. Anyway. <laughs> wow. That said, though, when you take into consideration the fact that no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't lie. It tastes like chocolate. You take in the fact that it calls itself a bock, though. Um, it's not bocky enough, in my opinion. <laughs> a bock should have a higher ABV, as well as it have a stronger malty backbone. And while it tastes like chocolate, it's a very mild, watery chocolate. It doesn't taste like. It, if this, if you were to call this a chocolate ale. Yeah, it would be a lot, I would think of it a lot better, but it calls itself Chocolate Bach, and as a Bach style, leaves something to be desired, because typically a Bach is a stronger ABV, a stronger malty taste to it, this doesn't have that. It's kind of takes it, it's got a nice flavor to it, and it's a very easily drinkable beer, and I do recommend it if you're a chocoholic, or an alcoholic, uh, you may hey. like this beer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, you might like this beer, especially if you like the taste of chocolate, but to be totally and completely honest, as far as comparing it to a typical German-style Bach, it, it doesn't really compare that well to that because it's too mild. It's too weak. Um, that said, I do like the beer, and I'm still going to pass it. I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5. I do love the taste of this particular beer, but it's not bach enough, in my opinion. I think it's got yeah, Bocky. Does your an, does your does the Android speak Bocky? 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 Hmm? What I really want is an Android that speaks the language of moisture evaporators. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Nerd. 
All right. Okay, so three out of five is what this gets, gets for me. Um, thanks for watching. Maxwell Stars Beer Review. I will talk to you guys later and cheers. <laughs> what? Uh. Uh. Okay.